Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some new Maybelline goodies. These are the Total Temptation line which is releasing in January 2018. January 2nd to be specific if you're looking at Canada. I was sent the mascara, the brow pencil, and then the shadow and highlight palette, all of which are on my face right now. Keep an eye out for an Instagram video. I have filmed me doing all of my makeup and everything that I used is Maybelline on my face minus two products, which is pretty fantastic. Just a color corrector under my eye and my brow gel. That's it. Everything else is Maybelline. Um, but because I've just done that tutorial, quick little Instagram tutorial. Um, I do have some first impression on these products. So I've tried out the mascara, the brow pencil, and the palette. Uh, so keep watching if you want to hear what I thought of the Total Temptation line from Maybelline. Okay, so first up, we'll start with the first product that I use, and it is the Total Temptation Brow Definer. I used the shade 305 Soft brown and it comes with a little round spoolie at the end. I did really like it. Worked well. A little bit too fat for my liking, especially for like the tail of my eyebrow. It's just a little bit too bulky. Um, I think if it was just a, like it didn't have the curved part, I think it would actually have been really good. And then the actual brow pencil, it's not a pencil type, it's more of a teardrop shape. So this is actually really similar to the hourglass one. I did find it was a little bit awkward to use to get a really precise line. Now that's what I want in a brow pencil is to have very precise lines. Now if you don't want that and you want like a more softly defined eyebrow, this is actually going to be really good for you. When you use the very tip of the teardrop, you can get pretty precise lines, but then if you turn it and use it like the full width of it, you can actually get a really nice diffused look. And it stayed on relatively well after I spoolied it too. This retails for $11.99. And yeah, I think it's actually pretty good, and I like that they, you know, kind of are a more affordable option of the Hourglass one with this really cool teardrop tip. Okay, so next up is the Total Temptation Shadow and Highlight Palette. Basically what this is is you get eight eyeshadows and two highlighters, and they are supposed to be like looks. So this is like a warmer look, and this is a cooler tone look. I'm going to have cutaways of the like swatches of the shades right now. I predominantly used this cooler one just because I was using um, one of the 24 hour eyeshadows in Black Orchid so it's purpley so I thought I would stick with that. Most of them actually did really well. The black shade is a little bit not pigmented enough. It can get a little muddy if you don't watch yourself but I am actually pretty happy with these. They're pretty darn smooth. Like I would have to say that Maybelline has definitely you know, stepped up their game a little bit when it comes to eyeshadows. But they're not the Maybelline eyeshadows that I've known in the past. They're a lot more creamy and buttery. And the highlighters are nice. It's just, <laughs> I'm really fair, so it's really hard to like pull off a purple and a, like a straight on gold highlight. I have the purple one on right now. I just have to be really light with it and make it more of like a blush topper rather than a full-on highlight because it it's just not great for someone who's super fair but if you have medium skin tone or deeper skin tone these highlighters will actually be really cool and they'd be really pretty so yeah I'm actually pretty impressed with this I like that there's warmer tones and cooler tones this way you could probably travel with this I did pull in the brown shade into my look just because there's not really an awesome crease shade in here I mean you could use this like mauvey color, but it's all right. I'd have to say like of the two looks, this is definitely the more cohesive and usable one out of the two, but you can definitely mix and match like I have on my eyes to get the desired look that you want. This retails for $17.99. I think that's a little expensive for a drugstore, but I feel like that's just kind of the way that everything's going. Um, I mean, you do get eight shadows and two highlights, so that's not horrible, but for a drugstore, I really do think that this could have been knocked down like even a $14.99. I think that would have been a little bit more reasonable. Once you get over that $15 mark, it's just hard at the drugstore for sure. Okay, and then last but not least, certainly not least, is probably the the keystone of this entire collection is the new mascara, uh, the Total Temptation Washable Mascara. So I did get a non-waterproof mascara, and if you've watched my channel in the past, you know that I religiously only use waterproof mascara because it holds my curl of my lashes so much better and I can say that this is definitely drooping a little bit and it's definitely not holding my curl like a 
waterproof mascara would, so I am very interested to try out the waterproof version of this. It retails for $11.99. I tried it in Blackest Black. I love the packaging. It's like this matte coral. It's really nice. Now it says that there's like a coconut smell. I just smell like drugstore makeup smell. Like I don't really smell any coconut. Um, I did really like the wand. It's just a really typical like brush, a little bit tapered at the end. I found that it wasn't too big and it wasn't kind of smudging on my top or bottom lid area. I really want to try out the waterproof formula. It built up really nicely. It is a little bit of a wetter formula, not super wet like the Rocket one or things like that, but it's kind of like a middle ground, I would say. I liked how much length I got out of it, but again, it's just not holding my curl as much as I want. So yeah, I think this is actually a pretty decent mascara despite it not holding my curl very well, but if your lashes aren't as finicky as mine, then definitely give the non-waterproof one a try, and especially that this is washable, that's always good. And I also heard from my friend um, some Sam, I'll put her vlog down below where she actually mentioned this, but um, she says that it's cry-proof, so that's good. I have not tried that. Okay, and that's it. Those are my thoughts on the Maybelline Total Temptation line that is now in drugstores. Uh, keep your eye out. I'm sure that it'll be slowly coming into the drugstores near you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of the products. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!